I'm at the Hawaii State Art Museum with Matt Matisse, who is the Executive Director for the Judiciary History Center. Happy to be with you. So nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Layla. You have a very yeah. busy day at the Judiciary History Center. Can you share with us where you're located and what, what are some of the programs that are there? We are located in Ali'iolani Hale. We're fronted by the King Kamehameha statue. We are on the ground floor. We do outreach for the Hawaii State Judiciary, so we're an education program. Our mission is to interpret Hawaii's legal history and um, provide learning opportunities about the third branch of government, the judiciary. And through that, we really hit all branches of government. Well, and the work that we've done together over the years, you know, with teachers and schools and students with, with, with regards to the Constitution. Um, very important work about the past, but it also ties into the present and the future. I think that's what you like the most. We're very fortunate to have the opportunity to take hard looks at our past and figure out what we can learn and move forward. So what's the most rewarding part of your job in working with the teachers? They're dying for our content. So, um, it, you know, we're, they're coming to us for information. Um, so they're a, they're a wonderful audience, they're receptive. And then really, for me, the most rewarding thing is not only working with the teachers, but working with the students and um, seeing how the teachers are able to convey our content to the students and seeing where the students take that information. You have access to so many different people in our state that lend their expertise and their generosity, but also their understanding of mm -hmm. how important history is to the present. Well, and what you do so well that I remember is engaging people in dialogue. And you're not only your workshops and your seminars, but also out in the public. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and when do the Judiciary History Center is involved, people get a little bit uncomfortable because there's judiciary, which is the courts, and they don't understand it. And then there's history, which they may not understand. But the fact that you've created a place where people can go and be safe is really important. Yeah, um, and I think that was the uh, that's one of the ideas of our school tours. It's a it's a place for kids to experience a courtroom without an Indeed, actual court. case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we try to create a comfortable space. And those are the spaces where we can have the hard conversations about important issues that have affected our past and continue to affect our, our future. So when a school wants to set up a tour to the History Center, mm -hmm. what's the first thing they do after the contact, when, when they arrive? Before they arrive, they can call us at 539-4999, or everything can be done online. So they can book tours online. Um, we take grades two through college. Our school tours, they'll complement the Department of Education's benchmarks. So grade three, we've patterned the tour after the DOE's benchmarks. They last about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. So it's a tour through the center, but at the same time, you're giving them content. Content, yeah. So they usually start with a learning experience in our movie theater. We have a theater with um, different presentations based on their grade level. They will experience our exhibitions. We have uh, several exhibits. They'll always experience a culminating activity in our restored courtroom. So we have a courtroom that's been restored to its 1913 condition, mm. and we use that for mock trials and, and the, the courtroom activities. Well, thank you so much for sharing a little bit of what you do there and what's available. Um, and I know that the viewing audience will appreciate contacting you. Oh, thank you, Ayla. Thank you for joining us in meeting Matt Matisse, who's the Executive Director for the Judiciary History Center. Hello.